the protesters, some of whom lost loved ones or were injured during the Nigerian Immigration Service recruitment exercise, said seven months after the tragic incident, they decided to use the protest to remind President Goodluck Jonathan of his promise of automatic employment to victims of the ill-fated exercise. And today makes it seven months after the ill-fated uh, immigration recruitment incident happened at the Hogbe Stadium in Benin City here. And ever since then, we have been looking forward to hearing from the, the authorities. Our president made a promise that he's going to give us automatic employment to the Nigerian Mission Service. But up till now, we are still looking forward to seeing that. Good Lord Jonathan promised that he will give us a slot from the immigration exercise. Since then, we didn't hear anything from them. And me and my children, we are just passing through us pain. We are victims, and you can see some of us are here. The children are crying. We want to use this medium to beg our, to our, our president. We want to beg him to assist us. Because it has not been easy for us. We need a job. We, need, we want to work. The protest later became emotional when one of the daughters of late Mrs. Sandra Aigbewole, who was allegedly trampled to death in the stampede at the exercise requested for the whereabouts of her mother. I was in a motor seven months. <laughs> my dad tell me my mom will travel. The victims of the immigration recruitment tragedy also took the protest to the NUJ Press Center and some media houses in Benin City. Kingsley Uchebu reporting.